Well, Cooper, it doesn't seem like that long ago when you were just Cade's old brother, and now you know, three years later you won the upper class was and, and, and the leader on this team. Does it does it feel like that? I mean, does it feel like it's time for you to step into that role? Yeah, right. Uh, I would say probably around like the end of the bowl game, going into uh, winter workouts, is kind of when I started to feel it. Um, it's kind of always kind of hard being like a leader when you're you know you got an older brother in the room. So kind of him stepping away and me kind of trying to fulfill that role a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy and then we'll go to in the back. Cooper, what, what are the key ingredients to being a good center? Oh, man. That's a tough one. Um, it kind of it depends on your body type and everything. But for me, I like to use my, uh, my intelligence and athleticism a lot. I think it kind of that's what wins me a lot of my battles. So I think if you can get as strong as you can get and then, you know, kind of win with your mental game, if you're kind of a smaller guy like me, I think you'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Hey, Cooper. Coach LRB mentioned that you had a good offseason. What did you work on in the offseason heading into camp? Uh, yeah, uh, biggest thing was uh, just weight room, getting bigger and stronger every year. So kind of getting to be an upperclassman, you got to kind of take on a bigger role in things. So leadership, too. But the main thing was just getting stronger and bigger. Wes? Cooper, I guess uh, how good is it, uh, knock on wood, how good does it feel to be healthy right now? And, and what's it been like trying to fight through some things the past couple of years and, and play some games that maybe you weren't capable of playing your best? Yeah, right. Um, I think the biggest thing for that is just, like I said, in the in the summer, you got to work really hard, build your body up, and then that will kind of take care of it. I think it's it's been amazing these first few days, honestly. You feel really fresh and springy. You see how it kind of goes in camp. You kind of get camp legs. So just trying to trying to stay where I'm at, I, I think it's been it's been a really good time. It's been a great three days, four days, whatever it's been. Okay. Cooper, I know it was his first day, but Lin J. Dixon, uh, his first day practicing with you all, a any takeaways f from that? Yeah, no, I'm, I mean, I'm just kind of focused on doing my job. Half the time, I don't even know who's behind me, whether it's Jabari or, you know, another guy or Hendon or Joe, whatever. I'm, I'm just kind of focused on doing me. Patrick and then the Eric. Cooper, I think you in a recent interview you told a story about Hendon not some te had some teeth knocked out of the Alabama game. I know you, you played through some injuries last year. What were some of the things that, that you kind of had to – play through and, and fight through and, and show your toughness on? Yeah, uh, my ankle was, was the biggest thing. I hurt that game one and um, the game against Florida. That was that was mainly the, the toughest thing. It's really hard to anchor. You know, you're playing SEC defensive linemen, they're 330 pounds, you know. So if you're on a, if you're on a bad ankle, it's kind of hard to do your job at a, at a consistent rate. So yeah, that was probably the biggest thing. Okay, yeah, Coach is in here talking about your, your toughness and you know, centers having to be some of the toughest guys on the team. How do you kind of you know, balance wanting to show your toughness and not want to come off the field with, hey, I, I can't do it like I normally would. Yeah, uh, you got to know your limits, but um, you know, I, I was raised to to never really quit, so I, I don't, I don't really, I don't want to hurt the team, but you know, I'm not trying to come out if that makes sense. I, I was raised to to finish what you start, so I'm not, I'm not a guy that wants to quit at all. But but if there's a time where you feel like you can't complete your job and you're hurting the team, that's when you kind of pull the plug on that. Eric, yeah, kind of on that during that whole process, um, you know, what did you maybe learn about yourself? Um, I know it probably wasn't an easy uh, season for you just because of all those injuries. Um, I was helped a lot by uh, this little the thing on my shirt, Ball Leaders Academy. Um, they kind of preached something that I kind of took with me, and, and it's about servant leadership and kind of they talked about something about called leading from the bench. So. Whether you're, you know, the star player, the 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 worst player in the middle, or hurt, or whatever, it doesn't really matter where you are. You can always make a difference with where you're at. So I think kind of finding my role as, you know, being in the back more as a teacher and helping out my teammates that were able to play, I think it was it was cool to find my spot there. Cooper, you mentioned vol leaders and being involved in that. How was your trip to Rwanda, and how, what did you take away from that? Yeah, um, it was unbelievable. Like really, it, it was a, a once in a lifetime experience. Like. No doubt, one of the best experiences I've ever I've ever had. So, kind of you kind of go through a, a, a two semester course with the vol leaders in, in class, and then the capstone kind of like final thing that you do is you'll go across uh, overseas or you know wherever the destination may be abroad, and you uh, kind of put to use your platform as an athlete and kind of be a servant leader and uh, help the underprivileged communities there. Um, just seeing the way that they lived, honestly, the the uh, the people that were in Africa, Rwanda was where we were at, and the way they just had a smile on their face about uh, everything that they did. They just, it was it was really beautiful to see people like live with their spirit and culture. It was awesome. Do a few more with Jimmy, and then we'll finish with Eric and Wes. 
Who did you learn more from about being an offensive lineman? Your dad, Kevin, or your brother? Uh, I, I probably have to say uh, the most part of my life earlier it was my dad, and then probably later it will probably be Cade more. Um, you know, the game's changed probably a little bit since 1994 and everything, so there's, there's, a, <laughs> there's a little bit of a, a, a gap in some of what he's preaching and what maybe Kay would tell me about what he's learned. So, of course, my dad thinks, you know, what he's saying is, is always 100% right, but sometimes you got to kind of feel it out for the situation at hand. And, but I would say definitely the first, the first most part of my life just learning football is my dad. He, he helped me a lot for sure. Where do you feel like you've grown? Uh, where do you feel like you're you're better this go around than maybe this time last year, and certainly as a freshman? Um, definitely my strength. Um, I, I feel comfortable now. Like when you're young, especially coming off injury, maybe. I mean, it, it's it's really hard as a young guy to be in the trenches, and especially in the core, like in the center guard area. There's a bunch of big dudes that are athletic, so it's hard to stop people. Um, just getting stronger in the weight room every year. I feel I feel comfortable now putting hands on and, and just you know lifting dudes up. Question. Cooper, if, if going back a couple of years, did you have any idea when you got here just with your size how you had to play the game? I mean, I know that you probably thought about it a little bit, but being a guy who's not like, you know, 6'5", 330 or anything, did you really, did you have any concept of how tough physically that was going to be? Um, I probably didn't know exactly how, how it was going to be, but, but I knew I was going to be fine. Like going back to his question over there about my dad, um, my dad instilled kind of a lot of values when it comes to football about how you play the game. And kind of the first thing he always told me was you got to be first off the ball and you got to play harder than everybody else. So I, I've played that way my whole life. I've, I've, I've always been that type of way. I've been a gritty guy that, you know, likes to get in the mix and everything. So just playing hard and, and I've never really worried about it. I've just let the rest figure itself out. Thanks, Cooper. Appreciate it. Thanks, Cooper. Thank you all.